Hi, I'm making a short video just to show you how to access the comments I'm giving back to you on your work. Um, so locate the class that you're taking with me. And when you get into the class, um, you will be directed, I'm sorry, you'll be able to see um, the grade I've given back to you. And um, you will be able to um, click on that grade and it'll take you to the, the the grade book. Note that the grade that you actually get on the um, response there it said it was a four is actually not the correct grade it just rounds to the nearest um, whole number so actually um, this fake response I gave back it got a 4.25 out of 5. But you'll note that you can't actually get to the comments from here um, so instead what you need to do is you need to go to the Dropbox it's typically a good idea to submit work to the Dropbox and definitely you need to go back to the Dropbox to um, review your work uh, you'll find that when you get to the Dropbox there should be a highlighted uh, view in the feedback category um, that you'll need to click and when you do, it'll take you to the actual uh, Dropbox interface. And here you'll be able to see the Turnitin similarity report. That's where my comments are. But first, you should review the rubric. Um, ideally, the closer to the left, the better. And, um, you know, let me know if you have any questions about any of the categories in the rubric. Um, we can go over the work. But yeah, to get to the comments, you need to click on the similarity report bar. This takes you into the grade mark interface. And once here, um, you'll be able to see the paper that you submitted with two kinds of comments. One is the similarity report, and this runs your paper through various databases to see what's been quoted. And it's a good idea to be able to review your paper to see, you know, what you quoted, um, how much quotation to actual analysis, Again, the goal is to come up with something like 10% quotation to 90% analysis. This, of course, is including the works cited page um, and maybe even some heading information, so it's a little bit higher. But you can also turn that off, and um, then uh, you'll be able to see sometimes more clearly just the comments that I've been uh, that I'll be returning to. So you should see these blue comments here. If um, if not, this thing may be um, unselected. So you'll need to make sure that that's selected so that you can see the comments. And I comment on everything from grammar to um, quotation to the most important to the argument. And uh, you should go through and reread your paper and check the comments. And of course, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, this is just a sample paper that I threw up there, so um, I didn't put that many comments on it. Typically, the comment uh, at the very end of the paper is the one where I write my response more generally to you, and typically there's more than this. Okay, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.